Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science and astronomy and telescopes. Um, thank you everybody who has subscribed to my channel and for you guys that watch my channel and have not subscribed, why not? Okay, so for you guys that don't know that much about me, my name, I call myself Joe Jaguar, although my last name is Aguiar, you put the J in front of my last name, you got Joe Jaguar. I was in a band as a drummer, uh, and you know, you need a stage name, so that's how I got that, about the age of 17. So I've had that name for a very long time. I've also owned a couple Jaguars. If you guys watched the program last year, uh, you'll see I gifted um, Angelus the yellow Porsche, and we're having problems with it. I've actually spent quite a bit, I would say a lot right now, uh, on that car as far as repair. Even the dealer uh, was like, wow, this is like, looks really good for its age. I took care of it. I never had any issues or problems until last year. There was a few repairs. It's continuing this year, and it's getting to the point where it's like, it's becoming a lot. So I'm actually looking at maybe getting a newer Jaguar. So I might have a Jaguar again, Joe Jaguar in a Jaguar. Here we go. Okay, but, oh, also, I've been into the hobby since 1993 when a comet crashed into Jupiter. Uh, and that comet broke up into 21 pieces due to Jupiter's uh, interaction uh, with it. Uh, and that was a cosmic event. It was in the news of 93, but actually the collision happened in 94. So that's who I am. And let's get to this video. So as you guys saw, I have done several videos on, uh, first I was gonna do this guy. I, I cut that base uh, originally out and then I was gonna chop this guy. Then I found this guy, so there was no need to chop this guy anymore. And then I rebuilt the base. But anyway, this is the one I've been using uh, quite a bit. Now, the last time I showed you guys, the balancing is good. Uh, but now with this docking station up here, now with my ride gel over here, and with a, let's say, two, two inch eyepiece or whatever, it does not hold balance past 45 degrees or maybe 50 degrees. Uh, so that's becoming a problem. Now I do have an Orion handle camera weight. Let me show it to you guys. So it looks like this. This is actually kind of neat. Uh, they sell two of the two models of these. This is a three pound model and then they have a one pound model. And what's neat is you just put it over there. Um, so if you, if you need more weight, you put it more down. And if uh, it's too heavy, you can put it more higher. So that's kind of great. So I was thinking maybe I get another one of these, um, but right now I can't even find the one pound. A couple of months ago I, I did. Uh, it's not available right now, but the three pounds is actually, maybe I'll put it on the screen, $79.99 Canadian plus $20 shipping. That's $100 for this thing. Now that's a lot. Um, so what do you guys use to counter balance your uh, Dobsonians, uh, let me know. Now I was kind of thinking of a couple things. I also bought Earth Strong Magnets. Let me show that. Now there's lots on the market. However, I got this one uh, from Amazon or whatever. Um, and these ones are more like that. So that's about uh, three quarters of an inch by I would say two and a half inches, roughly three inches. And I was thinking maybe I can get a counterweight, uh, not too heavy, like one to three pounds. So it's like those puck uh, ones. This is probably about two pounds. I think I, I did not weigh them, but um, I think it's about two pounds. Well, you know what? Why, why don't I go weigh it? Yeah. Ugh, they look like they're two and a half pounds each. So that might be perfect. So I was thinking, how do I mount this guy here, because I don't want to pay a hundred bucks for another three pounds, uh, which more which is more ideal because I like the handle part. But since I already have these spare, and I bought the count the magnets. Now 
let's say I put three like this. I tried like, maybe I could put it in a uh, triangle. Something like that, put it on. But as you see, it doesn't even hold it. It slips down. Now I know, maybe if I put it more in the middle, now I know I have to glue them, you know what I mean? So if I mount it here, it's not gonna move, maybe it'll hold it, but I don't wanna glue it or crazy glue it and then it doesn't work and then it's kind of stuck up. Now maybe if I put it like that, still slides, yeah. So what if I put four? Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe like that, five. Again, I'm not gluing them yet because I wanna see if it's gonna kind of hold. There we go. So, okay, that, that might work. Um, maybe if I, so if I glue five of them and then it is kind of, wow. I guess the good thing is I can move it up and down. The only thing I've noticed, it does scratch up your tube. So if you could see, maybe I'll zoom in. Not sure if you can see all those scratches. So maybe what I'll do is glue these on and then I'll put um, electrical tape just to give it a little bit of, um, and then I can put it on, put this guy on. And then if I need this one up and down with the electrical tape, it won't scratch it as much. I guess it's more cosmetic anyway. Yeah, I guess it's mostly cosmetic anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And then that way, if I need a little bit, because what's happening now with uh, the cell phone, the finder, and then an eyepiece, and then if I'm now using a cell phone to take a picture, because that's what I'm doing now, it's not enough, even at its most bottom. So I could put one of these here as well. Uh, and if it's a little too much, I can raise it or low it. But I also have one more. In case I need one more, I can put it. So looks like maybe two and a half pounds might work type of thing. Um, I was thinking, what if I, if that didn't work, what if I were to put this on here, right? Oops. Um, and the hole there, I drill a hole through here, that part here and then just bolt it so then it's going to be you know this is going to be instead of three pounds uh, it's going to be five and a half pounds now and then i can easily um you know lift it like that so it's going to be attached to this guy and then i can kind of lift it maybe that might be better than this magnet way so maybe i'll give that a shot maybe i'm going to see and test it worst case scenario is if I drill a hole through here and bolt that on, uh, worse is I'll, you know, and if it doesn't work or I don't like it, is I'll just have a hole over here, no big deal. Uh, so I'm gonna try both methods and see what I prefer. You guys tell me what you prefer. Okay, I think I am just going to first do this part, drill it and put a bolt and nut and uh, we'll see what happens versus gluing that uh, on and then trying that way. I could do that one after. Damn, this steel is hard. My bits are not going through it. This one medium bit, totally bent. And I'm using a self-tapping screw, which is supposed to go through steel. And I'm lucky if I'm like halfway strong steel. Okay guys, I got it. I broke another bit. And then I tried fourth self-tapping screw. Uh, then I finally went in and then I, uh, so that did it. And then I opened up the hole with a um, concrete uh, bit. And that seemed to work. So clean up a little, do that, put a bolt and nut through and see if that holds. And then there we go. Okay, so now that that's all done, I got my weight here. 
counterweight, my box of all my bits and stuff. So I'm just gonna use a nut and bolt with a washer. Uh, put that on here. It's bigger. So that way it can go through. Uh, okay, so whatever the reason, it is going through now. So let me just fix that up. Okay, I just need it to be a little more tightened. And then that way I can hold it. And let's go see how it looks on the dog. Of course, again, I just need to tighten this guy a little tiny bit more. But... And then I can just pull it, it's easier. Ugh. I think that will work. I guess I could even do it this way. So that, that weight is further along the floor. I think that's all I might need. Uh, again, uh, so I think I'm done for now. I'm gonna see how it balances out. And if I need the second one, uh, like I need a lot more, but it didn't look like it was that much more. But if, I ever have more accessories on the top, a do cap or you know, whatever, let's say. Uh, I could put that second counterweight to the white one up here. So it almost looks like an eye beam or type of thing. So I think that's it. But again, I would like to know how you guys uh, do it. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Joe Jaguar out. Like, comment, subscribe for you guys that are not. If you're on the forums and you hear somebody ask a question that I have a video for, please share the link. Why not you? Why not me?